Hi! Welcome to Surviving Schizophrenia with Steven. My name is Steven. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm here with my dad again. I'm Steve, Steven's dad. And we're going to talk about how schizophrenia does not make me dangerous. So there's a an awful stigma out there uh, about schizophrenia and about anyone that is suffering from a psych psychiatric illness that somehow that illness makes them more dangerous than the general population. And that is totally erroneous. Very and, inaccurate. And it's a very hurtful and damaging um, thing for people to believe that if you have schizophrenia or a psychiatric illness, that you're somehow more dangerous than other people. So Stephen, have you, what have you experienced with your schizophrenia? Yeah, so when I was at my complete worst with schizophrenia, when I was psychotic, when I was suicidal, I never wanted to hurt anyone else. I never thought about it, no. I only ever wanted to hurt myself with anything, but I was never going to hurt someone else or be violent in any way. And you stayed uh, for 14 days at the UCLA uh, Resnick Neuropsychiatric Hospital. I did, and the entire time I was there, no one tried to hurt anyone else. Not my roommate, not my other roommate that I had later on, no one. One kid did have an episode, and I think he was really scared. He didn't try to hurt anyone even then. And how many how many kids uh, were in your um, there your must section? have been about fifteen of us, maybe maybe a little less. For the duration of the fourteen days you yeah. stayed there, no one tried to hurt anyone else. Never. So the the you know there's um, the the blame that some people put on those with schizophrenia and a psychiatric, those that have a psychiatric illness. The blame that sometimes people put on them for causing violence, whether that be gun violence or other types of violence, is very destructive. It's not only inaccurate, but it's very destructive and damaging to that person's ability, right? This is the person with the disability. That person's ability to lead a fulfilling life, to get a job, to participate uh, and have friends, yeah. and it's it impedes their ability to have a full life, and it impedes the the family's ability that is supporting that person and their ability to move forward as well. So this is uh, you know Stephen's channel is all about destigmatizing schizophrenia and psychiatric psychiatric illnesses. And I think it's a very important uh, topic. Yeah, and I think if we continue on talking about it, more people might realize it's not like what they might see in movies or in TV shows or on the news where people with mental illnesses are mass murderers in movies and blowing up a hospital, because that's not how it is. That's correct. And you know, uh, Congressman Tony Coelho, in the interview that Stephen had with him, said that it's important to talk about, you know, the illness, because families keep it quiet, especially mental illnesses and certainly that was our experience we kept it quiet for many years um other than telling just some very close friends um, about stephen's illness and it's important as stephen said and as as the congressman coelho said to talk about this so we can help through that process destigmatize and remove some of the stigma that uh, that has been applied to people with with schizophrenia and other psychiatric uh, illnesses. So in summation, I am not dangerous. And really, for the most part, no one with mental illness or schizophrenia really is, except maybe to themselves. That's, that's correct. So yeah. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your day. And I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.